The city had long since succumbed to the inky darkness of the night, and a dense fog crept in from the nearby woods, wrapping itself around every corner and alleyway. It was the wee hours of the night as I trudged wearily through the desolate town, my fatigue weighing on my shoulders like an oppressive burden. I couldn't wait to return home, kick off my shoes, and melt into the comfort of my bed. Little did I know, this journey home would be far from ordinary, as I walked, the flickering streetlights buzzed overhead, their feeble glow offering little solace in the darkness. Each step felt heavier than the last, my exhaustion turning into a slow ache that spread throughout my tired body. I yearned for the familiarity of my apartment, where the soft glow of the television and the aroma of a well-deserved late-night snack awaited me, as I walked, a growing unease settled in the pit of my stomach. The solitude of the night felt suffocating, and my imagination began to play tricks on me. Every flickering streetlight seemed to cast sinister shadows, and the distant hoot of an owl sent a shiver down my spine. But I shook off my apprehension, attributing it to my exhaustion and the eerie atmosphere. Turning onto a dimly lit street, I suddenly felt a prickling sensation on the back of my neck, as if someone was watching me. I quickened my pace, glancing nervously over my shoulder. That's when I caught a glimpse of a shadowy figure, a person, standing beneath the flickering streetlight I had just passed, heart racing, I picked up my pace even more, my footsteps echoing like thunderclaps in the silence. I glanced back again and my heart froze, the figure was following me, steadily closing the distance. Panic surged through my veins, and I broke into a run, my breath coming in ragged gasps. My mind raced, desperately trying to formulate a plan. I knew I couldn't lead this person back to my home, so I veered off the main road into a labyrinthine alleyway. I could hear the sound of footsteps behind me, echoing off the narrow walls. Adrenaline surged through me, lending me a burst of energy as I sprinted through the maze-like passages, but just as I thought I had lost my pursuer, the deafening roar of an engine shattered the silence. A car emerged from the shadows, its headlights blinding me momentarily. The vehicle revved forward, its engine's growl a chilling accompaniment to my pounding heart, I zigzagged through the alleyways, my breath coming in desperate gasps. The car's headlights followed my every move, casting monstrous shadows that danced along the walls. I had to find a way out, and fast, finally, I burst into a small clearing, the moonlight illuminating a wrought iron gate at the end. I pushed myself to the limit, legs aching, chest burning, as I sprinted toward it. The gate was my only hope, a barrier between me and whatever malevolent force pursued me. As I reached the gate, I threw myself against it, the iron cold against my palms. With a heart-stopping clang, it swung shut just as the car skidded to a halt behind me. The pursuing figure emerged from the car, their features hidden in the shadows of a wide-brimmed hat, breathless and trembling, I locked eyes with the figure for a moment before they turned away, disappearing into the night. The car's engine roared to life, and with a screech of tires, it sped away, leaving me alone in the moonlit clearing. Exhausted, terrified, but ultimately safe, I collapsed against the gate, relief flooding over me like a tidal wave. The night air felt cool against my sweat-soaked skin as I caught my breath and allowed the adrenaline to subside, I realized I had narrowly escaped a horror I couldn't comprehend. Who was that pursuer? What did they want? Questions raced through my mind, but for now, all I could do was gather my wits and make my way back home, forever haunted by the memory of that chilling chase through the night. Thank you for watching if you enjoy watching these true stories from the internet please like share and subscribe.